Hi everyone and welcome to another video of Games and Cubes. <clears throat> In all my videos I talk about algorithms and rotations of the cube, but I did not make a video uh, completely explaining the cube. So today um, we're explaining you the most important parts of cubing. And this video is very helpful if you just start solving your Rubik's Cube or solving your 3x3 cube. Um, before I start showing the rotations, let me explain the basic structure of the cube. Um, on the 3x3 Rubik's Cube, the center pieces are stuck. And so they are uh, important and they uh, give you some orientation uh, when you start solving the cube. So white is always opposite to yellow. Red is always opposite to orange and blue is opposite to green. Um, this color scheme goes for most of the three by three cubes. Um, in the beginning, it's smart to start solving the cube always from the same color. So uh, in the beginners method, we explain also with the start of solving white. Um, so let me explain the most common uh, rotations of the cube. So the first rotation is the um, right layer. So the right hand side of the cube, it's indicated with an R and a rotation always goes clockwise. So this is R and sometimes you see R2, so an R with a number behind it. So R2 is one, two, so this is R2. And uh, counterclockwise rotations are always indicated with an I, the I is for inverted. So R inverted, R, R inverted. The left layer also uh, clockwise, this is L and the left layer counterclockwise. So L and counterclockwise. Then the front layer of the cube, so the front layer is an F. So front F and front inverted FI. F and front inverted. So the back side of the cube, so this was the front side, then this is the back side of the cube, is indicated with a B from back. And also here, B and B inverted, sorry. So B, B inverted. Then the next layer is the top layer of the cube. Uh, it's indicated with a U upper layer. So this is a U, U, and a U inverted. And also here, when there's a um, number behind the U, so let's say in this, well, it, it's never three because then it's an inverted one, so a two. So U two is one, two. And there is no U inverted, so it can be both ways, right? So one, two is also U two. Then the last layer is the uh, bottom of the cube and it's indicated with a D from down. And uh, here is also a D, it's a D layer and D inverted. So a D and a D inverted. And these are the most important rotations of the, of the cube and there are two left. And those are the two middle layers. So the middle layer is indicated with an M and that's this one, it's M. So you only rotate the middle layer and M inverted. So M and M inverted. And then you have the E from the equator, which is E and E inverted. Um, well, now I've shown you all the um, rotations of the cube. Um, there are also some whole cube rotations, but I will explain them in another video. 
Um, let me know if this video was helpful and if I can help you with other videos. Keep practicing, keep cubing, and I will see you in the next video.